I really need to go back to playing at least three warm-up games. But we're coming in, playing some in-game pattern training. Just to see what we're familiar with and practicing what we're familiar with. Trying to stay with what we're familiar with, even if the opponent does anything strange. And then just capitalise on that. So a simple thing is we're just taking the knight off the board. Don't want to keep any tensions that aren't required. Positive is attacking. Obviously, I'm not going to take the pawn. And castle, king safety. It's looking for our bishop. Keeping tension sometimes is okay. I think I'll just bring the queen here looking to support the bishop. I mean, it does bring their rook into the centre of the board. Don't have a place there, really. But why not just develop the queen as well? So it looks like they weren't expecting that because they would have taken otherwise. So it looks like they want to keep the tension. So I think the knight's coming out. It's not. Whoa, okay. So we'll take with the queen. So this isn't a pattern that I'm familiar with. So now I have to then familiarize myself with our mantra and utilize the mantra properly so developing the bishop potentially for this but this pawn can drop but it's developing a piece in here with a plan so they're attacking already so i'm going to simply take and the queen doesn't have any support and this was like the warm-up game that i've just played where my queen i didn't have any support on that uh, so that you could tell it was definitely a warm-up match you know um so i've done a very similar thing to what this player has just done and they've resigned okay warm up and really it takes about three games for me to actually warm up so we got lucky in that last game they made a similar mistake that i've made in the um first game so this is game number three so in essence my brain is saying well this is your warm-up match but you know let's just treat it as it's not and see how we get on so we're trying to practice the you know in-game pattern recognition training so we want to feel comfortable with what we're doing or try and get a realization of what is actually happening hopefully then the pattern recognition puts us in a better position a stronger position I'm going to bring the knight here and get castled so ordinary i don't really usually have a problem with the opening type thing it's where the transition then comes into the mid game where the issues come we can hit this but we don't really like the look of the way that lands so i'm just going to bring the pawn here it might be the ideal move it's just that this bishop doesn't take and they look all strong and stuff in there and it feels like i'm playing left-handed chess because i'm right-handed so i'm going to attack the bishop might be frowned upon i'm not bothered let's take here so we're happy and comfortable with potentially attacking this area here but i do believe the knight is obviously going to jump back or try and make space for this pawn but they haven't done all right so they've moved the bishop looking for a diagonal towards here is the knight going to be jumping here that's what i'm expecting because this pawn's got no protection so we could just push this pawn just to prevent that because we're familiar with that so ordinarily that knight would have come here this is what i was expecting but if they haven't done that doesn't mean it's winning anything but um i think the knight wants to move somewhere yeah because it like i said it wants to kind of challenge this area this half open file type thing doesn't have any protection so we could like go like this take this pawn because the bishop is attacking the knight <clears throat> so we take the pawn his queen takes all the pawn takes and we take the bishop take the knight so that's what i'm going to do that pattern looks fairly okay to me i'll be proved wrong but hey it looks okay and you can take here obviously then they'll be really mad and they'll hit the bishop so brief moment plus one we're comfortable with this half open file obviously they're going to want to try and push down here but they don't they've not shown any immediate aggression so it looks like they're a cool player 
Or are they suffering from shock in t saying, well, how did they just get a pot on there? Or have they gone, right, that's it. I'm putting the magic on. So we could attack. I'm just thinking of this. Da -da 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 -da. I think we just attack the bishop. Looks like they're giving us the bishop. Oh, okay. What's the queen? Oh, no, the queen's got a check on the king. has got the pawn back. It's got the pawn back. So we probably move the queen here. Yeah. Not that I like to try and save the pawns just because we can save them. Let's take the pawn here. Yeah, they, they, I, I knew they took that too well. Let's bring the knight here attacking this pawn. They're actually quite mad. Okay, so we can take them on the rook. This pawn is protected because the rook is probably going to come and attack. We could go for an exchange, but the queen puts a check on the... Oh, the knight's protecting at the minute, so we could go for the exchange of the queen. Does he hide around the corner, though? Going to go and see if he's happy rather than going for this pawn yet. So yeah, um, don't want to get into monologuing, but yeah, this pattern recognition thing, focusing on the highlighted weaknesses as before, the going backwards thing, got to go, oh, and we said they're probably going to hide away, didn't we? So we could come and attack the queen again. And it can hide away here. And then we can attack it with the rook. There's no more hiding then, is there? I'm going to attack it again. Am I missing something? Whirlwinding myself into a trap. Doesn't look like it, but they have gone there. So I'm going to bring the rook like we said. I'm not sure where it can go. So there is, mind you, he could hit our queen. There is that. There is that. Yeah, so queens are off the board. I can move my queen up though if he does push. Yeah, just saying. I can move my queen up if he does push. The knight does have a check on the king. Rook takes. Nope. Oh, he's got the pawn. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, can you believe it? He's escaped. He's got the damn pawn. Oh, so we're going to have to do this type thing. Oh, shocking, man. Shocking. Well, the rook takes, obviously. And we take, and there's nothing clear, and his queen's all over my king comes around here. Oh, that's terrible. Terrible. I should have put more calculation into that. I thought I had him squished. Oh, chess is such an annoying thing. Well, this is game three, so really it should be the warm-up type thing, shouldn't it? He's coming in strong with his knight. I'm going to bring the rook here. And see if there's a situation here. I think the queen's probably coming back to help protect that. So we'd have to probably go here. After that. So it's gone there type thing. Probably just end up taking the queen. Oh, we could still just go and do this, couldn't we? Yeah, we can still do this. Check. Rook takes. Queen takes, and the queen can't get involved, can it? To block. Pattern recognition. Oh, sha. Oh, terrible, terrible, terrible. This is why we need free gains to warm up. 
This is definitely why we need three games. One game just doesn't cut it. Oh, unbelievable. And it's not to say we're going to win any more games if we're playing any more games now. You know, I feel like not playing any more games. <laughs> Crikey's sake. Anyway, we get on. So we've done three warm-up games. Doesn't mean we're going to win anything just because we've had warm-up games. So don't get it twisted. And let's just see if we can practice the pattern recognition. Let's try and feel comfortable with the position. If we're not comfortable, let's use the mantra as the backdrop for the decision making. So it is all about decision making, making the right decision. So bringing the bishop out a little bit aggressively. And it's looking to maybe drop here. We could just hit the king. I'm going to hit the king with the bishop. I don't need I don't need to keep that tension if I don't need to keep it. And developing any other pieces before we castle. The queen is not on a dark square. We could just develop the knight. This pawn is so weak though. Look at it. That's going to get attacked like anything. And um, anything aggressive? No, not that. Maybe pawn pushes down. What is the positive move to make here i mean knight coming up knights let's develop the knight let's attack the knight I feel like queenside castling to put pressure onto this pawn it's got problems with his little thing so we've got a little flicker going on here all right, there's no need for magic, dude. There's no need for magic. Let's just lean on this pawn. He's going to castle anyway. I'm going to hit the knight. I'm going to take the... Well, no, not yet, not yet. Yes, because we get the bishop for free. And we're on the rook. Okay, start flicking again, little fella. Okay, so attacking the pawn or maybe just taking the knight off the ball because we get the knight for free. This looks like a snowball effect kicking in big style here. So if we bring the rook here, maybe going for some sort of reduction in material, maybe. Now the thing is, if we did do that, his rook can't take, his rook takes, rook takes, rook takes. I think that works for us, doesn't it? Let's go here. Just reduce down. Take and take. Still playing on, so let's attack this pawn and take with the knight. Doesn't want to do that, so let's take. Let's not move too hastily because they're still playing on and putting this too far up is just going to get hit. King attacks or maybe the pawn just drops and then the knight can go here attacking this pawn then this pawn drops. No, let's keep the knight down here. Let's keep it down here. Try and use the pawn majority now. Let's push push it's got a pawn majority oh what's going on let's hit the king with the knight two pawns protecting let's push this pawn might be trapping the king um there's no point doing that it just drops here so shall we push push We don't need to move fast to calculation. So they push, we push, she takes, knight takes. I'm going to push this here until they run out of moves. Oh, I can't, can't do on pass on, but the knight can take. He's wanting to get rid of the pawn. So if we push here, the king can't go there. 
And if we push this, then... Oh, he's looking for a stalemate, isn't he, as well? But he's got pieces he can move. So if we push this... Is the, is the pawn's not protected, though, is it? We push this, his king comes here. If we go here like this with the knight, doesn't look like he's got anywhere to go, you know. Checkmate. Well, that was a bit s not smoothish, but yeah. let me just have a look at that one a second. Let's just have a look at that one a second. One, two, takes, captures. Oh, it was the early. Yeah, yeah. They gave us the free bishop and the. Oh, that was position play. Yeah, fine. No problem. I thought we had a problem in the early part. No, no, no. Yeah, that's great. So that was definitely a move order uh, in the centre of the board there. Very clinical. Quite happy with that. That's okay. Just continuing the pattern recognition training where we've just been in, in on, on the site. So we've had one warm-up match, which should have been three. And when we played the three games, we kind of were starting to warm up a bit. So we played the last game and that seemed to go okay. So let's just uh, crack on with the idea of the art of pattern recognition actually in the game. I'm talking and I've just fluffed it up here. So let's just bring the knight across. Yeah, so not a fan of this opening at all. So let's see how we can use the mantra and our skills as best possible to try and get out of this now. So we'll create a bit of a hole for ourselves. I'm going to have to just go small with the um, pawn. It's coming in, so basically looking for the fried. Let's get this knight out now. We can do that because this pawn is here acting as a guarder. Still coming in for the fried. Let's just go for the king, king safety. So I have seen this type of position a few times. It can be a little bit suffocating. But... Just from my memory, it's only suffocating if I start to overestimate, extend. I've got to get a good balance first before we start jumping in there. This bishop's been given for free, it looks like, so we'll take. Or oh, has it? That's the thing. You never know if you're getting set up or not. I'm going to bring the knight back. It's The suffocation is about this bit here, so you're not really getting movement. So I'm going to bring the bishop here, attacking the rook. So my tunnel vision is just about these pawns here, but maybe there's something I can do outside of that. I'm going to hit the knight. Because you just feel you can't move your pieces because of these pawns and... We have to wait for them to overextend, which they have done in the early part by giving us the bishop. But that doesn't mean anything. We're still squished in. He doesn't even care about his knight. Because we take, he's going to be on our other knight. Shippy D. Shippy D. What is this all about? Take takes, bishop takes. Take, take, queen takes, right, okay. We've got to check on the king. If they take. From the state of this player, they're probably just not going to do anything that we're saying. Common sense would dictate, but we do get a check on the king, so we might be able to move the knight out of the way. But is it moving to a safe place? He's got three pieces on this pawn. Knight's got to check on the king, but the knight will just take it. He's got three pieces on that pawn. I'm going to lose out. out we? We've only got two. Knight takes, bishop takes, rook takes. That's not going to work, is it? We move. Maybe say the knight takes. Then the rook takes, then the bishop takes. It's getting the knight as well. 
Wow. That's like magic, isn't it? What we were saying, it's like he, we just can't move. I'm going to have to just take this knight off the board. Probably didn't need to deliberate so much about that. I think sometimes as well, when you're in the throes of a game, you can sometimes forget that you're either attacking a piece, yeah, or you've got a piece under attack, and then you kind of start visualizing other moves that you can make which look really positive but you kind of forget that you've got a piece under attack or a piece that you can take just like what just happened just then so i'm actually going to split this pawn up if they take so looking to just trade down now because we have more pieces so we might as well try and trade if we can See if we can get their big guns off the board, the rooks. It's not playing ball. Let's just take the knight off the board. It's attacking our knights. Again, we're not too precious. It's going to attack the pawn and the bishop. Bishop's probably coming here attacking this pawn and defending their pawn. Knights hunting a fork on their rooks, but it's just not there. Yeah, so I'll just push this pawn just to block that. And then we can attack the bishop. Yeah, they're not giving us time, are they? So we can put a check on the king. It's just a shame there's no rook or anything there. But do we have a place to come back to? We don't. So I think we're just going to put the check on the king here. Doesn't look like they want to, oh, okay, let's attack. I was just gonna say, it doesn't look like they want to exchange, but they've exchanged. So shall we get this rook into the game? Start leaning on the king. Yep, let's lean on the king a bit. And get the other rook in. Do we need to, yep, let's get the other rook in. I plan to double up on the pawn. We can push. Oh, it's that move. <laughs> right, okay. Could hit this rook. Looking to trade if we can. Try to keep it simple. The pattern type thing just says, well, keep it simple. We can go for it. He doesn't have to. He can go here. But then the bishop can take it off the board. He could go back down again. And because we're wanting to trade, we'll just take it off the board. Options and choices. Okay, so they do take, so we'll grab. And nothing's set in stone, they're attacking our bishop, so the bishop can come here, but we're not really wanting to do that. I think we'll just bring it here. Got to be mindful now, king's probably coming up here, thinking our rook's trapped. Let's go down and attack this pawn. I know I'm moving a bit quick there, but that... The obvious moves seem pretty straightforward to go for. So he is attacking. So I'm going to attack this pawn. Just take a two on one. It's attacking the bishop. Bishop can take. The rook's not really going to come and attack any of the pawns. Oh no. Let's take the rook off the board. Nice one. Great playing as um, white. I think it's probably again, isn't it? Um, and we're just continuing with this pattern recognition training. Just to try and get comfortable with our own understanding of our chess. So we're going to take the pawn. And going to bring the bishop out. Not going to rush to put a check on the king with the queen. 
and then put a check on the king with the queen. <laughs> and let's castle. So in this situation here, and I, I feel like I rushed to get my pieces to give my king a little bit of company. Let's just bring this here. And I don't mind doubling the pawns in this aspect when the bishop comes here and if the bishop takes. Okay, so let's take this off the board. It's looking to cause a lot of trouble. And let's attack, like we said, and let's take. Okay, and let's get the knight out. But before we do that, because the bishop is attacking the pawn, let's just move this pawn first. Get the knight attacking the bishop. Let's attack the bishop. Very good. Okay, so we can move the knight now. Rooks eyeing up, eyeing up. Can see simple pawn moves like this happening. And let's see what else we can do. Wants us to take, then he's bringing this in here. But we've got checks and stuff, and I'm sure we can manage it. Let's go with that. They might even bring this one in. Ah, they didn't want to go with that one. I don't think this one is, is as good as the other way, but we shall see, shall we? Let's go here. So now we're going, we're going hunting. We're going hunting. Maybe not with the Rook Rover just yet. Dun, 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 dun. Let's go here with the Queen. And the knight is in. It's not hitting us yet. It's looking to drop here. So no panic at the minute. No panic. This is where the story unfolds. Let's take this pawn. Yep. Feeling happy with that. Shall we just come across? Oh, just before I do that, I don't need to rush it. Let's take this pawn. It's looking for an exchange now. It looks like they're panicking, but not panicking because we're getting closer towards their king area and they're not having any of it. Yep, let's bring the queen here. Nope. Well, it could do, but yeah. Let's go here with the rook. Tripling up. It's got two pieces protecting. So I think the knight's going to move because then there's it's got like four pieces on there and it one, two, three, no three pieces protecting. So if we went rook check, rook check, and say the knight takes, queen takes, rook takes, yeah, we haven't got enough pieces. This looks nice. And the next move looks so nice. I cannot believe that I'm actually going to get it off. Let me just think. Get the check on. Ah. You know, in my head I was thinking, oh, why if he takes with the knight or even if he takes with the queen, we look get the queen and I'll just be able to take this rook here. But man, he took with the wrong rook. He took with the right rook for him. Oh, that's a shame. Damn. That's the type of thing you need to stop doing, which is trying to go the, for the happy path calculation when the opponent's got like a grim path for you. Yeah, so you kind of try to wash out what it is that they can realistically do to you and make your moves look better in your calculation. So that definitely has to stop. Doesn't mean they've won the game, it's just it's going to be a little bit harder for me now. Let's take... 
not sure if it's that's the right one, is it? Not that I can make anything of it, obviously. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I can beat a knight. Come on. King versus a knight. Watch. The skills. Let's get a draw. Once his knight to drop in here. Come on, let's get a draw. These are protecting these, protecting these. That's not being protected. Let's move here. In my head, I'm thinking we should be able to get a queen, but watch what happens. Some sort of knight sacrifice now. Doesn't look possible, but... It's a fork. Has he got a fork or something? No, not really, but... It's wor nothing worse than going out on a damn fork. Okay, we've got a queen, but come on, please. Oh, oh, God, I thought that was it. I thought he had the fork. Oh, maybe he's got the fork now. Keeps hitting my king. Leave it alone. What's the deal? Oh, no. He's got the... I can't believe it. I can't believe what I just seen. I gave him the fork. Stupid. Oh. That is disgusting. And now he's gonna get this pawn. Oh. oh how could I mess that up? I was absolutely winning. Well, I can't lose now, can I? <laughs> I cannot lose now. Oh, that is so stupid. The silliest of things. He's going to resign now, obviously. God, all I had to do was move my king away from his knight. Away, properly away from my queen and my king. That's such rookie stuff is unreal. Oh. Feel sick. Feel sick. Got to get all of this stuff out of my system. Playing the overboard friendly games, playing the internal games. Get all of this out of my system so I'm ready for the competition. Um, I have got a prediction in mind for this next tournament. Um, it is an international event <laughs> rather than a normal congress. I think it's just a change in the title, but hey. What can you do? We'll claim victory on that one. Okay, last one for today. Practicing our pattern recognition as best possible. And hopefully not fluffing any basic simple manoeuvres. Let's crack on. Let's capture the pawn. And let's push through the centre here. I'm going to hit the king. I'm going to take the knight. It's going to bring the bishop into, into life. Let's get the knight out, supporting the port knight, sorry. So the only issue I've got with this type of opening type thing for myself is it's not very meaty. 
in terms of position. You know, it's not one of those where you go, oh, yeah, that's awesome, you know. So he's attacking our bishop. Keeping the tension doesn't ordinarily. I'm not really a fan of keeping the tension. Let's just take that off the board. This pawn has no protection. The B pawn is going to get hit. So we need to focus. I need to move the queen out of the way as well. Let's move the queen out of the way. Maybe it's time to get activated. Probably coming for the B pawn, like we said. And if we did attack it, it's going for the B pawn, attacking the knight. So we may as well just push this pawn because they're going to go for the B pawn. So familiar with it. You're attacking them. Oh, they're coming down. So now, shall we hit or do we take first? Going to hit. I think we lose the pawn there bad tempo dude bad tempo i was so rushing to go for this i suppose i can take with the pawn rather than the knight see we knew they weren't going to exchange didn't we yeah they were hunting this b pawn so we can take the pawn off the board that's the simple aspect i mean going forward you know they've got the strength of these pawns here we don't have to take, we can push this pawn supporting. Is there anything else? This bishop could hit the bishop, but this pawn is under attack. The knight can take back and attack the queen. So that's a positive. I think we should just take it, but... Uh, push the pawn up. Pushes down. Push up. That would be like the old man way of playing chess, wouldn't it? Just pushing here. If they did take. Could take with the pawn. Could take with the queen. Probably take with the knight because it's on the queen. So I'm going to push the pawn. Nothing extravagant. Okay, they do take. So if we did take with the knight, the problem we've got is that is the queen can take the pawn, can't it? Yeah. So we're going to take with the pawn. Now he's owning the file with the queen. And we could try and go here, but if he does go there, his queen can take, rook can take. Is it a back rank? It's a back rank. Huh? Oh, he's resigned. What? I don't know what that was. Was he? Was he planning going? Here. Yeah. So that's for a rematch. Okay. Well, let's, I don't really do rematches, but he's probably gone now anyway, isn't he? No. Yes. No. Oh, he's back. Okay. Could have asked for a take back, couldn't he? And let's go here. Are they going to go crazy now? I bet they'll go crazy. He's moving faster as well. So let's try and be steady, Eddie. Let's castle. Don't really like rematches. You know this. Come back with all the special magical stuff that they didn't provide in the first game. Let's hit the bishop. Okay, let's hit the bishop again. Let's get the knight out. So fairly happy with the position, but as you know, it's uh, not based on really what I'm too happy with. It's more a case of, see now we want to push in here. The computers would say just push in this center here. Although this is like left alone, it's still potentially linked to this pawn at some point. So we could push, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to take. Bishop's protecting the pawn, so we can't just take straight off like that. Could attack the bishop. Queen's protected by the rooks and the bishop. Um, well, just the rooks. If they do take, they might not. They may just go, well, no, I'm going to attack your knight, which they have done. 
So a small piece attacking a higher piece. I don't think there's a... What, they're just running all over the place. Because I could just bring the bishop back, couldn't I? So it's not really doing anything there. It's stopping this pawn from being pushed down, though. So can we take advantage of that? No. No, oh, no. Put the bishop here, attacking. It's a good bishop. Let's hit the bishop. Are they looking to open up the king area? No. They're moving dead quick. It does get me worried when they're moving quick. Let's attack the bishop again. Just hides in the corner. Ay, ay, ay. Got to remember that that knight doesn't have any protection, so his knight is going to just go anywhere. I'm going to attack their knight. Something needs to happen if I keep sitting back. Well, not I'm not sitting back. They're, they're sitting back. I'm hoping they're closing the doors on any attack potential. So... This way gives me more pawns in front of my king. This way it opens up space in front of my king. But it also opens up this file for us to potentially attack. His queen is probably going to come and attack the pawn here. Even if I take here, his queen's probably still coming here. So our king is going to have to cut. Ooh. It's going to have to come here or here, but if we take with this pawn, then that pawn will be able to drop and the bishop's covering that area. Take with this one. I'm going to take with this one. There's potentially more pluses with us being able to do that and also being able to bring the king here when the queen comes here to defend. Moving fast, so I need to. I want to see if we can get this business going because we do have the cheapie here. And the television's just come on really loud. So tiny little patterns are forming, but also they've got patterns too. They've done a lot of reversing. And based on our experiences, going backwards, if you've not got a plan to go forward, doesn't really work, does it? Going here, so he's kind of looking, he's preventing that because his queen's guarding this area. Did his queen land on anything then? Knight up. Attack the pawn. No, we don't really want to release that pawn, do we? Queen up. More pieces facing the king. Or should it have been here? Oh, you know, I think it should have been there, shouldn't it? Because then the bishop could do that. Ah, oh, missed a trick there. I missed a trick. I'm not going to get that time back now. That was, I think that was the important one. Coming here. I suppose it can do all this business, but. At least the queen would have been in the mix. Take, take, take. Yeah, he could have just pushed down. Maybe. King's moving out of the way. Doesn't like that pressure. Only the king and the queen are protecting there at the moment. So if we did do that, he pushes down. We can't take. Mm. Right. Too late. Never mind, too late, too late, too late. Let's bring the queen here. Opposite the king. Just does something. We have to move eventually. Bishop still got this. If the rook's looking to come across.
constantly changing the way you're looking at your patterns. And the worst thing for me is when I see the pattern, I just keep pushing it and pushing it. He's wanting to get rid of this bishop, man. It's in a nice position. Maybe we can just keep that diagonal for a bit. It's hitting the knight. Bishop's protecting at the moment. It's weakening my structure. Uh, is he getting his knight in? Protecting. It's not moving much, is he? Bishop takes, pawn takes. Right, no good. Knight, no good. We don't want to open that. Knight, it's nothing good. Looking to double. Okay, let's try it. Let's try it. It's like I mentioned before, once I see that tunnel vision, I just, the you know, focal point is so much on there. I'm just worried about this knight thing. He did a knight move to do something. To get somewhere, is he protecting something? He doesn't want to move this rook because of the bishop taking, or the queen taking, whichever. If we can get some more, I think it's eventually just going to do that. And that just messes it all up. So we just take, take, and he's got pressure on this pawn, pressure on this area. It's not going for any of that. So I'm going to bring the rook here. It's like playing the sitting waiting game. So we have two pieces on there. So he could lose his queen. Is that to our benefit? Maybe because we'll have, we can take this pawn as well with the bishop. So he doesn't have to take with his queen, obviously. Time-wise, we're not doing too bad either, which is good. And they have moved, so it does give us the opportunity to either go for the exchange of the queen or take with the bishop and cause some damage on the rook. I'm going to go with more damage on the rook. Maybe bring the bishop here and attack their bishop. So you could tell they knew what the worry area was with the types of maneuvers that they were making, apart from this pawn move here. We still have to stay focused because they might just come out with some shocking stuff. And the magical knight move. The knight is in here. We can take this rook off the board anyway. I don't really need to deliberate that. Take that off the board. Does that really help though, really? Now what? Still have that pressure. Queen could come here. Got three on there, but he's got the rook defending. Knight is not doing anything. Well, maybe it's a pawn move. Computer would just find a simple pawn move to make, wouldn't it? Knight up. Attacking the pawn. Mm, not a fan, not a fan. Time's running down from four. Can't even hit their queen. Bishop takes, pawn takes. Rook takes. <laughs> decisions, decisions. We don't want to open that up, forget that one. What we want to do we're going to do a simple pawn push. I can feel it in the water. We're just going to push this pawn and see what they're going to do. Yeah. Safe than sorry. 
They've got to do something with this port on either this or this, surely. Yeah, they're doing poor moves as well. And I'm not sure if this one's going up. Let's push this one. So we're still mating each other and just going to go for a draw. We're plus three, which is like the rook thing. Yeah, see, this is why we shouldn't have done that. But I think we've got enough armory to see the bishop off. I like the bishop being here at the minute. So we can't push this one, but now the bishop's got space to come down and attack the knight. Let's um, do something. It's kind of stopping the... But he's got like loads of things there. So the knight's doing half of something, which is kind of stopping the bishop from jumping here. It's not really... Could jump here. Takes, takes. Then he's got a passer as well. At last! Wow, so we take on Passong, the bishop takes, it's on the queen. But then we take, and then we're on his king, checkmating. Well, not really, just goes back. I think the knight's going to take, actually. I don't think the bishop's taking. It's a 50-50, but I think the knight's taking. It's tempting to do this, but he's not going to want to give up the... Oh, the rook takes. The rook takes. I'm going to just take the rook. And then the knight takes. Because I don't want to lose this pot. Ooh. Okay, we put the check on. Does he go here or no? Okay, right. So he goes there. We take the queen off the board with a check. Mate. That was an interesting game indeed. Hmm.